A poignant and tragic element underlying the protagonist Odesu's journey in Old Boy lies in the profound loneliness and isolation he endures throughout his harrowing ordeal. From the moment he is inexplicably abducted and thrust into a mysterious captivity, Desu is stripped of his autonomy, his freedom, and perhaps most painfully, his connections to the outside world. Imagine the anguish of waking up in a stark, windowless room, devoid of any human interaction, with only the cold walls and a solitary television set for company. For 15 long years, Desu is imprisoned in this desolate space, cut off from the vibrancy of life, from the touch of loved ones, from the laughter and warmth of human companionship. It's a fate that is not just physically confining but emotionally suffocating, a relentless barrage of solitude that wears away at his spirit like water eroding stone. During those interminable years of captivity, Desu's only lifeline to the outside world is the television a viaristic window into a reality he can no longer be a part of. But even this technological surrogate for human connection is a double-edged sword, offering tantalizing glimpses of a world he can no longer inhabit, while simultaneously serving as a cruel reminder of everything he has lost. He watches as the world moves on without him, as seasons change, as loved ones age and disappear, as the lives he once knew slip further and further from his grasp. In the absence of human interaction, Desu is left alone with his thoughts, his memories, and the gnawing sense of despair that threatens to consume him. He grapples with feelings of abandonment, betrayal, and existential dread, wrestling with questions of why he has been singled out for this cruel fate, and whether he will ever find a way out of the darkness that has swallowed him whole. Even after his sudden release from captivity, Desu finds that the scars of his isolation run deep leaving him emotionally scarred and psychologically fragile. He struggles to reintegrate into a world that has moved on without him, to reconnect with a society that feels alien and indifferent. The relationships he once cherished have withered and died in his absence, leaving him adrift in a sea of strangers, haunted by the echoes of his past and the spectre of his own isolation. In the end, the true tragedy of Desu's story lies not just in the physical captivity he endures but in the profound loneliness and isolation that accompany it. It's a stark reminder of the human need for connection, for belonging, for the warmth of human touch. And it's a reminder too, of the fragility of the human spirit in the face of such relentless solitude, a testament to the resilience of the human soul even in the darkest of times. For more video like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Chan Karnai Art, and follow us on Facebook. Thank you very much for watching.